Hey guys. We're going live with PD Pablo. So tell your friends, tell your family the Nikki Rich show is on. Hey guys, come on in. We got PD Pablo in the house. So we're going to bring him on. It says unable to join PD Pablo. Request it. It says unable to join. Hey guys. <laughs> PD Pablo, yours says unable to join. So you might have to request me. Hey guys. Come on in. I'm going to see. Hey, King Jada. Shout out to the King Jada. Okay, there you go. Hey, Thank you. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Hi. Ben. Welcome to the Nikki Rich Show. <laughs> Yes, yes. I want to say, you know, you are amazing. We be rocking out to your music, everything you got going on. So we had to bring you and get the updates, what T.D. Pablo doing. There you go. <laughs> now, where you based out of right now? North Carolina, always. Okay, the Carolinas. That's what I'm talking about, you know, representing. That's why I definitely had to bring you on because I'm a Carolina girl, too, you know, and we got to stick together. <laughs> Absolutely. And you put Carolina on a map, you know, <laughs> on the map, especially North Carolina. Because <laughs> people didn't even know about it. But, um, you know, here, being in quarantine, how have you been maintaining? I know you got new music out. Right. Yeah, got new music. Well, I've been, um, I've been building mm -hmm. on streets, furniture and restorations. I've been building. Okay. Building is something that I used to do as a kid. Mm -hmm. I was like nine, eight, nine years old. I used to build clubhouses. And my friends used to get me to come over to their house to build their clubhouses for them. Because mine was just, you know, just so awesome, you know. Um, but the clubhouses that I used to, tree houses and clubhouses that I used to build, uh, when storms would come through, all my friends, theirs would tear down. But mine would stay mm -hmm. and the test of time. So everybody was like, Man, we need to go get, you know, Petey to come over here and, and build our clubhouse, our treehouse. So in the in the neighborhood, and back then, you know, I used to do it for candy and, you know, different stuff. So I was still hustling back then. But um, so in this pandemic, it was like, you know, music, I'll never, I'll never stop doing music. No. But, you know, when you want to free your mind and you want to clear your mind. So I went out in the garage and I just started messing with some stuff. And uh, and it it brought back the memory of me as a kid doing this, and it, it and it started to feel good to my soul. Mm -hmm. um, like I encourage parents that have children that are drawn to certain things as kids, encourage your children to and and push your children towards the things that they're interested in as kids, mm -hmm. because sure we can grow up and we can be doctors, we can be lawyers, or we can be whatever, but when you see people that are in professions and they aren't really happy, it's because they missed their design destiny. Exactly. So luckily I had multiple destinies because um, uh, music was also something that chose me. I never chose music. Music chose me. I was born into a musical family. Mm -hmm. and, but building 
uh, was also one of my passions as a kid. So had I been pushed towards building instead of music, I could probably be the number one architect, right? You know, exactly. But, I, but either way, um, it's still refreshing enough to be able to come back and do something that reminds you of um, of your childhood. And not only that, you can build anything. You can build anything. houses. I can do it all. Anything yeah. you want, you can build it. Yeah, I can do it all. And you know, I know you were saying furniture too, right? In North Carolina, that's that's the furniture capital. Capital, man, it's the capital. So you know, I mean, I'm just, I'm staying busy and mm -hmm. uh, um, um, enjoying myself in the process. Cause uh, like I put in one of my posts before, um, find a job that you love to do and you'll never work a day in your life. You won't, you won't. And you doing it during quarantine. Yeah. I mean, like a lot of times, you know, or just since this period, people's like, oh my God, I'm in the house. And, you know, this our cre this our time to get creative, you know, right. bring Absolutely. out that creativeness. Absolutely. And a lot of people that are doing houses uh, are, are requesting uh, the woodwork that I'm doing. And wow. it's awesome because um, I'm still being an artist. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and I'm just creating in a different form, you know, instead of musical, you know, I'm using wood and um, and to get the the messages and to get the, the outreach that people uh, hit me up and say, well, hey, I just bought this new house. And uh, amazing enough, come to find out you created the sign for, you know, so I mean, it's just that awesome. is great. That's like, like, crazy. That I, I would never like we would never probably bump paths, you know, um, but when the people when the realtors when they sell these homes and they tell them where the sign came from you know people research me and they look me up and they was like wow they're like I, I really appreciate it and it really made the house that much better and i miss mean, that's awesome now tell us what kind of service you offer you know for the people so in case they wanted to get some of your services what i specialize in is bringing your dreams and your imagination to life you okay. tell is that you want cut because it's also like a challenge to me so mm -hmm. it, it's not so again that's why i don't look at it as work i look at it as you know it's a challenge like to to be able to do something and and bring other people's ideas to life so if you have an idea you know and say can you do this not a question i definitely can do anything so mm -hmm. you know that's what i set my mind to when i tell the people that i'm around and and friends of mine don't ever say what you can't do or or initially go into the thought of oh man that's hard like take everything as a challenge and do yes. it man to the moon i can build a damn coffee table so <laughs> now you know. do you be at home just building i mean because if i knew how to build i'll be building everything shells building everything like anything everything that i think of you know um i'm watching i have a youtube channel um mm -hmm. i just started so you guys um go to my youtube channel the real pd pablo and like and subscribe and um <clears throat> i mean again i mean but you can also hit me up on instagram and um mm -hmm. i do my best and i got a, i got a great team of people that check my my dms and all that stuff often and and like I said, man, it's 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 fun. It's like you're giving me, you know, a project to do. And I want people to understand that for the time it takes me to create whatever it is that you ask for, okay. understand that time is being dedicated to you. So you're getting not only you are you getting great product, but you're getting something that was designed especially for you. Like I don't have exactly. a I don't have a shelf full of welcome signs or coffee tables or like everything that I do is designed for the customer, whoever calls, or whoever sends a message and they want something done. And I take on the project. Um, it is designed for you. So for however long it takes me to do it, one hour, two hour, one yeah. day, that was the time that I spent dedicating to you, you know? Uh, so this wasn't like you, you just went and bought something that was just manufactured by, you know, a company, you know, mm -hmm. this is, done for for each individual now give us an estimate just i know it's dependent on the project how long usually does a project take i don't like to go over 24 hours oh wow i i mean like i'll stay in my garage from 
right now until six, seven in the morning because I have that in me. Like, I mean, and that's with music as well. Like if someone sends me a record, like you can ask anybody that I've ever done a feature with. Um, if you send me a record to do mm -hmm. in 24 hours or less, you'll have your record back. Like I don't play around with, with work. I don't play it. It's just something I govern myself by. Like if I have a, a job to do for someone, um, I try to pride myself after delivering how I would want things delivered to me. If I want somebody to do something, that that's why I hate ordering from Amazon and all that other stuff. No, no disrespect to no yeah. fact. But you know, everybody's like, man, you should go to Amazon because I want mine right then. I want I want everything that I want right then. Exactly. Wait. So And then it might not even come, you know, the right. way that you want it to be. You right. be like, what is this? I could have did that. Where it is, I'll drive and go get it. They're like, man, it's four hours away. I don't care. Whatever it is that I want, I want it. And uh, so I govern myself with my work by that, like music, woodwork, whatever. Whatever it is that I do for people, I govern myself by trying to stay under 24 hours or less. Now, if it's a big, big job, of course, you know, um, uh, it, it may take a day or two. But I try my best to to to, to do it in a timely manner because um, that's – what I like to stand on. And them projects start adding up. Like if you go over a certain period of days, you like, okay, and yeah. then you start. That's why people got, you know, you know, um, and every night before I go to bed, I make sure I sweep and mop the whole entire and it's like a, a four car garage. So um mm -hmm. I so every night, you know, I, I <laughs> I don't let, you know, trash pile up. So every night I, I, when I wake up, I start to work. The garage is completely demolished by um, the mid-afternoon. But before I lay down and before I go take a shower and get ready for bed, that garage is completely clean from top to bottom. So wow. I got myself at, 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 at being, being meticulous like that. That's how I am, too. I got, I can't even sleep with nothing on the bed. You know, like you... You want it clean, you know. Mm -hmm. So when you get up, like we had, we was having earthquakes here today. I heard this I morning. Heard. I'm like, I like hope I can do my stuff. interview. <laughs> Thing is, uh, I was in LA for a couple of the earthquakes, and uh, as a matter of fact, we had an earthquake there, um, like the day before 9/11. Wow. Uh, or or the day after 9/11. It was one of those days, but. Yeah, I was there because we were shooting a video there, and um, and uh, yeah, I've experienced a few, you know, um, out there. Yeah. But I'm glad everybody's okay. I haven't heard any news from people, anybody that was hurt. You know, it was so. crazy because the bed was moving. I I was laying down. I was like, no, ain't nobody in my house. Like, I know. <laughs> who lived in the bed? Might have stacked up under the bed. <laughs> I'm like, nobody here. So, I mean, you know, what's going on? And it was, that's what it was. They said the aftershocks and stuff like that. And I'm like, oh, my God. It was crazy. It was crazy. But, you know, and I see you was out here in uh, California. I mean, you get love from everywhere, you know? I do. I do. I do. It's different out here. I tell people just coming from the South to the West Coast, I mean, you know, some people, they just fly out here and think like, oh, yeah, you know, I'm in Cali. It's totally different. You know, the okay. music, I feel yeah. like. Everything. I mean, everything. There's no, I mean, there's no place like California, first and foremost. Mm -hmm. Secondly, I have been honored and blessed enough to remain the person that was born. Yes. A lot of people, you know, get into different lifestyles and they want to change who they are. You know, but I remain the person that was born on my birth certificate. Like, uh, I don't sway. I don't, I'm not influenced by others. I'm, I'm not, you know, one way today and another way tomorrow. And I used to be kind of, you know, until I figured <laughs> life out. But, you know, but um, mm -hmm. I still have been blessed enough that I'm able to go on any set, you know, um, around the world. Um, and, I mean, I'm just an inspirational, motivational, you know, funny crazy cool you know guy you know i like to have fun yeah. you know joy to people's lives when i leave from the people that i'm around i want to leave uh an impression i don't want to you know people 
you know, to, to be glad twice. I want people glad to see me come and glad to see me go, you know? So, uh, I, I try to, I try to govern myself by being, you know, a respectable man and, um, yeah, because as soon as you mention Petey Pablo, everybody like, yeah, I can't wait, you know, yeah. whatever, you know, that's uh, what you want to hear. Because my mom always said when we was young, when you're, you know, always keep your no your name clean, keep your nose clean, <laughs> all those things, you know, make sure you don't mess up your name, you know. Yeah, you got it. that's all you got now. I mean, I know I'm uh to keep it a thousand now. I I probably in my past because you know. Um, I mean, again, we all go through certain things in life, and and life is a trial and error. It's not a we don't have any rule books to life, so we can't mm -hmm. read a book and figure out how to not step on any toes. So you know, I'm and I probably stepped on a few toes and burned a couple of bridges, and uh, but it was not done maliciously. Mm -hmm. um, every choice and decision that I had made in life was because of what I felt was to better myself. Yeah. Uh, um, I grew up um, taking care of myself and looking out for myself, um, not by force, but by choice. Like I grew mm -hmm. up in a great home and I had great family and uh, my mother, my grandmother, my aunt, God rest their souls. Uh, they did the best that they could to raise me the right way. I just chose another lifestyle mm -hmm. and the lifestyle that I chose. It made me, become the person that I was. And that was the overly protective, overly aggressive sometimes, but because it, it's a dog out here. I mean, the, uh, the week gets, mm -hmm. gets demolished. So, you know, I had to be a strong go getter, you know, in this world. So it, it spilled over into my professional life. And because, I mean, I was always the one to watch TV and watch videos and watch stories on people. And all you hear is about how people got robbed and how people got in the industry and they got beat out of all this money. And I tried to make sure that that didn't happen to me. Now in the process, sure. Uh, did I burn a lot of bridges? Probably, you know, because I was very aggressive and I was mm -hmm. very demanding. Like, I, I mean, I wouldn't actually carry out a lot. I mean, I, I was capable of it, but, you know, I run it somewhere, hey, I blow this moment. But, you know, I ain't, you know, I'm not going to blow nothing up, you know. <laughs> I'm not going to let you get over on me when I'm not yeah, going to, you know. exactly. And, and I never ran with a big crew. So, you know, I didn't have the luxury of, you know, calling back up and calling people in because, I mean, I just don't respect that. I mean, uh -uh. if I have a problem with somebody, I want to be able to take care of it. Now, me calling other people and bringing other people and involving other people that don't have anything to do with it, you're, you're blocking their blessings because you have them doing something that, you know, shouldn't be done. Like, I'm a man. I want to stand up and take care of my own business. So, exactly. so I've made some bad choices, and but, I mean, it was all done in the trial and error. Like, I, I did the best I could. So. It, it It's like, you know, we on the road. Sometimes we run through those bumps, and, you know, yeah. and we, you know, we get, you got to where you are today, right, right now. You know, you had to go through those things, some hurdles and them bumps and everything to you get to where you are today. Mm -hmm. You know, and. Oh, it's, uh, um, it's definitely. It's definitely, it definitely is a is a training course that you have mm -hmm. to go through, you know, and it's not going to be easy. And I tell people all the time that if you want this life, understand that this life comes with a lot of things. It comes with it the is. good, it comes with the bad. It comes with the ugly. It comes with the sad. Like you're going to, you're going to go, you're going to experience a lot of things in this life. And if you're not built for it, you you're going to break. You know, I see a lot of people, and uh, I, I want to 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 give a shout out to to uh, the foundations of, uh, of depression and uh, uh, mental awareness and all that, because yeah. it, it is real, you know, people uh, go. We have the, some family members. You, I mean, uh, like sometimes people like to sweep it under the rug, under the, which right. we all know right. we have family members that have mental issues, you know, right. and it's, it's, it's real. It's real, you know, and I tell people all the time that when you put people in a, in a situation of power, it's hard to handle it when you're being pulled in all different directions. Mm -hmm. And 
order to maintain it and to or to maintain friendships and relationships and keep your family together it is a hard mental job that people i don't think people understand how detrimental it is like when they look at people like kanye west and you know and people that they call crazy and people that they they mm -hmm. say their minds and you know um it's it's a hard job trying to be uh in the public eyesight and and remain you know and remain sane because i mean it's 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 a it's a crazy it's a crazy life like i i don't know if i would recommend people to you know even getting in it sure having your dreams and chasing your dreams and um uh that's one part of it but people don't understand mm -hmm. the part that goes behind the doors behind the scenes that you don't see you know and uh, you all don't you don't know too what people are suffering behind the behind the scenes you know oh, as well they it might be some really really crazy bad stuff that you don't like, even it, know that, like meg the stallion like right now what she's going through like and i mm -hmm. think people you know they don't realize it until they realize it like you know if people are quick to make jokes about people and and put people on blast for certain things this and this and that until you realize the severity of the situation like you could very well force someone over the wrong edge, you know, by not being concerned. That's why I tell people all the time, man. That's why I try to check mm -hmm. up on people that I love, you know, um, as much as I possibly can. Sure. I mean, it's a lot of people that I have love for, but at the same time, don't, when, when people cross your mind, pick up the phone or pick exactly. up, you know, and, and, and call them. If this pandemic and racial uh, time warfare that we're going through right now, if this hasn't taught you, to love your loved ones and 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 salvage any relationships that you possibly can. If this hasn't taught you that, then you know I don't know what you've been doing. It taught me to release some too. <laughs> yeah, 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 it, I release a it, lot it, before, <laughs> but I in a post as well. You know, uh, mm -hmm. God removes people from your life because He heard conversations that you didn't hear. So you know, um, it's a um, it's a pick and choose. It's a pick and choose. I mean, understand that, you know, uh, you and, and one of your closest friends that, you know, y'all have been hanging out since y'all were, were kids. And now here it is, 2020, and you haven't spoken to them in six months or maybe two years. You know, what y'all were actually fighting about probably wasn't that big the, uh -huh. to throw away. So, I mean, be the bigger person. And, well, she ain't saying that to me or he ain't saying that to me, so I ain't saying that. Be the bigger person. And, you know, and even if it wasn't a fault of yours, you know, just reach out to these people and say, hey, man, you know, I still love you. You know, you don't have to say I'm sorry for what I did if you didn't do anything wrong. But just say, hey, mm -hmm. man, I just want to let you know. Or, hey, homegirl, I, I just want to let you know that I love you. I still love you. You know, because, I mean, that means a lot to people. And sometimes love can change your direction in life. It can. I just think right now is so much... uh that's going on with all of us. You know, I think the world needed to stop for all of us because we all was just going, going, going. Right. And people not being able to spend time with their family. Um, yeah. You know, people getting resources that didn't have before. They might have been like rent late and different things. So now they're able to stay in their home. You know, different things are it's different blessings for different, different people. You know, so much is going on healing you know clarity you, people getting clarity just yeah. so much you know but i think this time we needed to just completely stop you know yeah. and, and reflect like i said all, it, it all it wasn't all bad mm -hmm. i mean it all bad because i mean um we actually started losing our way i felt now this is only my yes. opinion i agree is, but uh, i felt we started losing our way we started getting yeah. so caught up in social media so much and going out so much keeping up with the joneses so much worrying about what somebody else is doing or whatever somebody else is you know and we forgot what home and what family and what true friends and what love in the household but we forgot what all that was i mean most people were staying out three and four five six o'clock in the morning sometimes come in go to bed get up and do the same thing again like you know you you, you got kids you ain't seen your kids and you know i mean it, it this right here, it, it was a, a terrible situation for who it's terrible for. But 
in turn, if you were blessed to stay out of the way and not catch the virus, or if you was blessed enough to catch the virus and get over the virus, I mean, this should teach you that the things that we thought were important in life really weren't more important than what we already had. Exactly. And you had to survive with what you got right now. Absolutely. You had to stay in your house. Stay your ass in that house. <laughs> if you ain't got it, I'm sorry. I'll you ain't like, got it, you ain't going to get it. <laughs> DoorDash or whatever you're going to order. You I know, know that. I order Instacart, my groceries. I do everything online, you know. Oh, I order yeah. all that. I ain't got time to be going out like that. I'll walk around the block, but, right. you know. Well, see, I'm I'm here. have enough space that you know and again you know not to 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 put bad business out there but i mean it's not really a bad business because it was a learning process for me mm -hmm. i spent a couple of times away so you know for an extensive amount of time so you know i know how to be <laughs> <laughs> being cool when you locked lock, up you know i know how to cool to be cool on the lockdown so you know so now, um, how do you feel like like just being away and being like that lockdown versus this lockdown? I mean, how do you feel about that? This lockdown now, I got four thousand square foot of penitentiary <laughs> that I can run around in. <laughs> I got a door in my house. I got you know, I got video games. I got everything. So um, versus. And uh, and I'm the I'm I'm the man I, I'm the warden I'm the I'm the sergeant the lieutenant I'm the everything in my house so you know um, I got all the privileges mm -hmm. uh, do whatever I want I can go on the yard when I want uh, I can you know I can work out when I want to I can watch TV when I want to so um, I'm blessed enough to be able to I can use the phone whenever I want to <laughs> you know I don't need money people money, people to put money on my books I got to break uh -huh. my <laughs> My refrigerator and my cabinet is the commissary, so I can go in whenever I want. <laughs> you know, now, do you ever use your skills that you had in inside on the outside? Absolutely. I get conjugal visits whenever <laughs> I <laughs> <laughs> So, you know, you know. Cool. Look, you're the only one. I'm not getting nothing over here. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Listen. Well, you I know, know. what? Not a bad thing either because you still don't want to to be involved with the wrong person. Giving yourself to the wrong person is just as bad as having somebody to give it to. I so, know. Uh, not having somebody to give it to, but uh, uh, yeah, you definitely want to want 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 to make sure you're careful with that also because once yeah. you old with someone else, because every time I tell people this all the time too, once you are intimate. I mean, sure, as kids, yeah, we ran rampant and did whatever the hell. But once you realize that every time you become intimate or involved, you, you see some people sometimes that are supposed to be players or supposed to be thoughts or whatever, mm -hmm. and they look empty, it's because they have given so much of their soul. Exactly. That they are empty. So you definitely want to grab a hold to that if. I'm not saying, you know, that sometimes people have to do what they got to do. But, I mean, unnecessarily just trying to get a girl, just trying to get a girl, or just running around being thotty just to be thotty. Now, if you had to do what you had to do to pay, you know, to keep your little lights on in your house, or you had to take care of your kids that your baby father or your baby mama left, hey, uh -huh. man, this is you know, some people just grew up in a bad lifestyle. Some people are exactly. uh, forced into certain things that they didn't want to be. So, I mean, that's a deep subject, too. But still in all, <laughs> my point, and don't just run around, you know, doing and leave uh, anybody. things. Because, I mean, you're losing your soul. You you, you, mm -hmm. lose, you give away a part of your soul every time you do that. You and do. if you come lying, look at these people. These people that you think, you know, are the hottest. And they done been with this girl and that girl and that guy and that guy. Look, just really look in their face. And they look empty on the inside because they've lost a lot of themselves by giving themselves to other people. Now you can regain that. It's it, it's like um, it's like a wound. Uh -huh. You know, cut my damn finger off. You know, with that saw. But it's oh uh, my goodness. it's like a wound. It you can heal. You know, your mm -hmm. past doesn't define your future. Your your it past defines your destiny. So you 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 can heal yourself. You just have to stop. And you know you have to put yourself in quarantine, <laughs> just like we just got. <laughs> I've been in quarantine for four months. The rules are already set. You know how to do it. 
put yourself in quarantine and really get back to loving you because a lot of people had forgot they 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 search for for love in all these other places and they forget mm -hmm. how to love themselves that's the greatest love of all you know and you don't have to do a lot of the things that we do or have done if you learn how to love yourself you know and yeah. and that's the greatest love of all so and that's how I feel. We got to work on the us, you know, like be healthy. Like you healthy, you know, you look good. <laughs> well, you know what? I'm 10 months clean and sober now. Oh, wow. So, yeah, I quit drinking. I mean, I'm a little fat, chubby in the face. But, uh, <laughs> but, but you're I'm, healthy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm I'm healthy. I jump on that pull-up bar and, you know, I'll get right, man. But, um, yeah, I've, uh, I change. I tell people this all the time. Change your mind and you can change your life. You know, and uh, my my will to live was stronger than all my addictions. Yeah. Uh, and I now used to think going out, turning up, and smoking weed, and blase swaze, and drinking, and all that other stuff was was cool to do. But one, I mean, it just hit me. It was like this ain't fun. Like this ain't fun no more. Like it you is know, not fun. Like and then when you're not drinking and you're not indulging, looking at other people that do it, they look so foolish to you. <laughs> and I'm like, y'all want to waste y'all money, y'all last on a, a whatever dime and, and alcohol. Like that's dumb. And you gonna wake up still like buying for furniture, right? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you can be buying some furniture. <laughs> you can be buying some furniture, baby. I mean, I'm addicted. That's what I, I'm. That's crazy that you do that because I'm addicted to furniture. You know, right, right. I like that. Um, what is it like that plush? That um, I don't. I forgot the name of it. What they call it? But I know, like I have my couch. You see, one oh, yeah. of them. I forgot what they call it, but you know, I like that that look like how they do the beds now and right. stuff like that. Yeah, I you was know. looking at that the other day. I was like, you know what? I'm going to jump on something big. I'm going to jump on a big project and see. Yes. Because I was looking at my bed frame the other day and I was like, I got wood downstairs that I make welcome signs that look better than this frame. You should do it all the way up to the top. You yeah. know? To a Superman bed. I should put two king size beds together and build a frame for it. Yes, a big one like this. This wall. Yeah, whole wall. That would yeah. be tight. No, but then I'm had to put something in it. <laughs> 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 I know. Yeah, King Solomon part. said vanity plush. Like I like that. That vanity plush. Like, yeah, we got the indie artists in the building too. From Chicago. I'm looking at them. Yeah. I see you guys. Shout out to everybody. We got productions. Everybody in here. You know, North Carolina, they representing. I see I you know guys. That's right. I know that's right. No, Pity Pablo. You Pop got Where My Bike At. I see Thank you got you. the video out. Yeah. That that song is rocky. The crazy thing is I shot that video myself. You did? Shot and edit. That's crazy. Yeah, I do it all, though. But see, that's what I keep trying to tell. I tell people, like, do everything. Like, sure, it wasn't a Hype Williams video or it wasn't a Dave Myers video or it didn't cost Dang. me. But don't be afraid to turn the camera on and do it. If people will watch a fight on a broke phone uh, and people running down the street two million times, we have the technology now. We have iPhones that shooting 4K. Turn exactly. off phones and and film something positive. People will watch it. You know, um, I'm 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 pushing the line. Like, sure, I can make phone calls and you know get my partners and them to come over and shoot videos, but I'm not doing it. I want to show people that all you have to do is put forth the effort. the effort into doing whatever you want to do and you can get it done now when Don't you be... get the the people the cast i mean you got like little young boys and stuff like that where do you get those different nationalities and races you know where do you, you get those can, guys you, you you would you would be amazed at the people that are willing to help you 
Yeah. Um, and to, to be a part of something. The reason Raise Up was so big, uh, the video, uh, and it was so much energy because I shot a video in a place where no one had ever been on TV besides in the news for some bad stuff. So mm -hmm. no one has ever had any public exposure. Um, these guys had never, you know, seen real life celebrities. I brought Timberland to the hood. You know, I'm a Tim and Magoo to the hood, like, you know, and that's crazy. everyone was fighting for the spotlight. It was just energy. And it was like, hey, I'm doing this. Hey, this kid is doing this for us. And so it was so full of energy because and. But you did it for us, like for us. the whole Carolinas. The, the whole Carolinas. They but that's what I'm telling you. No it is love. so easy. Don't worry about people for your video. If you tell people you're shooting a video, you'll be surprised at how many people would love an opportunity, you know. To, mm -hmm. to be seen, you know, on uh, on a worldwide platform. Sometimes they ain't even a worldwide platform. Sometimes it's just for, you know, a few people that you have on, on, on your Instagram or on your YouTube. But, I mean, especially if you're doing something positive, mm -hmm. you know, it's it's easy to get people. But it's so, but the thing about it is your music is still transcending even to this era. Pe era people taking, like, you know, like your your music, like Freak League and different things, and they're trying to incorporate it in your, I mean, in theirs today, all the young people, you know? I keep just, telling people, you make timeless music. Yeah. Um, I'm caught up in a situation, right? The reason I haven't released any music music yet is because I'm still caught up in a uh, situation with my um, uh, publishing company that okay. I'm not comfortable with and, um, and I'm not cool with. And... Uh, so it's unfair to you guys and 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 girls. I just say you guys, but you understand what I mean. Yeah. But um, for me not to be able to do this, so um, I'm about to push the gas and probably take legal matters. Like normally, I would just go run up in the building with a couple baseball bats with some rock wilds with some pit bulls. And <laughs> 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 but um, but now that you know, I, I'm more business savvy and, and I'm more intelligent. Uh, I'm probably going to take a legal matter against these people because they already owe me tons of money mm -hmm. that uh but i'm not with the court system and i'm not with i'm trying to, to do a peaceful settlement with these people i'm trying to get a i'm trying to but sometimes people don't understand nothing but the fool they don't understand they don't understand the the the, mm -hmm. the logical businessman they don't understand the the calm and the cool sometimes you gotta act a fool sometimes you gotta pull the pants down and show your ass sometimes you do you know? because uh they don't believe it you know until until they get real you know and this is like you know all this stuff is going on um this didn't just start happening we just didn't start being racially profiled we just didn't start getting killed in the street this mm -hmm. has been happening but now we're getting attention and now that they're seeing that we'll tear some mess up out here so now oh 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 oh, oh okay i'm sorry oh yeah yeah black lives matter you know mm -hmm. black lives always matter you know, we shouldn't have to run around screaming that because it should be a it should be a definite fact. I mean, but now that we're tearing these people's stuff up, now you know now, okay, it's an issue. But it's yeah. always been the issue. We have always mattered. And not just us, but everyone. But we have always mattered. Sure, we have always had to take the back seat and by Hearing that so much and feeling that so much is why we probably act out the way that we do sometimes. Mm -hmm. Because it's like, hey, man, I am told you I've, I've been mad, you know, but you ain't want to exactly. hear it until I acted a fool. So now, you know, so yeah, now it looks like we're the aggressor because we have been suppressed for so long and we had damn near started believing it ourselves. You know, so that's why it's such a big thing. That's why I said it goes all the way back to the first thing that I say. Encourage your kids. When they're small, tell them that they're beautiful. Tell them <laughs> that they're loved. Tell them that they're special. Because if you grow up feeling, you know, and being in a world where you always are the lesser or you're always feeling that's all, they're always talking down on us, sure, you're going to grow up in, in, in your mentality and somewhere suppressed inside you, you're going to feel that way. You're going to start, you might not acknowledge it, but you will start to feel less than as you know or knowing like unconsciously when you see a, when black people see a police it's like oh man i hope you don't pull me mm -hmm. over white people don't even fathom that thought they probably don't white people be like it. why the hell is this police behind me you know that's their thought but 
because we have been in this situation where we get pulled over so much, it is embedded in our mentality that we're always in the wrong, even when we're not wrong. So, again, it goes back to, man, I mean, I can, I can go all day for this, but uh, I know we're on a time schedule. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I, and real <laughs> quickly, I know it's a lot of artists that's on right now. Do you do features and stuff Absolutely. like that? Okay. Absolutely. And and with that as well, I mean, I could charge whatever the hell I wanted to, but I don't do that because, I mean, I try to, I have to be compensated for my work, but at the same time, I want it affordable enough for people mm -hmm. to, 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 to be able to obtain it. I'm still going to make you work for it. It's not going to be it's it's not gonna be easy. You ain't gonna call. Don't call me and tell me, hey man, I got five hundred in my budget. I'm sorry, but uh, <laughs> this is as far as our conversations go, but I'm gonna make you reach for it. I'm gonna make you because still and all, nothing in life comes easy. So if you mm -hmm. want something really bad enough, you have to work for it. So I, I still make it. people work for it, but I don't put a number on it that people think it's 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 out the window because I still want to inspire people, and by that that means I'll charge a number where. It's obtainable, and it's not so far-fetched that people only think about it. It's like getting a feature from Michael Jackson. Nobody would even fathom that because how much would it probably cost to get oh one? Oh, my God. But if you could, when he was alive, God rest his soul, if he was alive and he was obtainable, you could very well inspire more people. Like, if I got on a record with an independent artist, it would only make that artist go harder knowing that he got a feature from Petey Pablo, and also Petey Pablo ain't going to play no games on no track. So mm -hmm. he going to have to come. I just did a song with Yin Yang Twins um, day before yesterday. And uh, Kane called me at 5 o'clock in the morning. He was like, bro, I just listened to your verse. Me and D-Rock have to go back and redo our verse. Like, you like, I make the people that I'm with go harder. So, again, I want to stay affordable enough for people to obtain it. But I'm still going to make you work for it. And I'm going to push you to your limit. Because I love what I do. And there's nothing that can take that love away. Well, can I get a drop from you? <laughs> you don't got no. Nah. <laughs> no, I definitely can give you. A, I, I definitely. Um, we'll talk. We'll talk later, and just let me know what you need, and uh, okay. I'll make it happen for you. Yes. Now, is there anything you know before we wind things down? Because I know you gotta go. Um, is there anything you want the people to know? You know, for that you got going on for the rest of 2020, or just. Want them to know, period. I know you said you got your YouTube, subscribe, yeah. and all that. Yeah. No, what I, no, I mean, not about me, because I don't really like making things about me. Mm -hmm. What I want people to understand is to get back to being who's on your birth certificate. You know, stop looking at the world and, and having to do things and readjust your life to, to, to seem like you fit in. You already fit in because mm -hmm. you were born, you know, and from the time that you were born, I mean, um, do things that make you feel good and not things that you feel like you're obligated or you have to do in order to be famous or in order to be accepted or in order to get likes. Like, who cares about likes, you know, when you don't even like yourself at the at the at the end of the day you know mm -hmm. do things that you're proud of in life and do things that you know that mean something do things that makes a difference stop looking at the likes and start you know um learning to like what you're doing mm -hmm. don't worry so about another person because i mean somebody somebody loves you just the way you are and mm -hmm. you might walk past that perfect person for you every day but someone loves you just the way you are and Yep, they love me the way they are. I know. I know they love me. I'm country. You know, I, I try love to it. bring the country to the city. <laughs> there you go. There you go. And they always love us, especially when you're genuine. Mm -hmm. Especially yes. when you're genuine. I don't know how to do that. Do that well. But anyway, but I love all you guys. Like my mama gave birth to y'all. And um, I appreciate the opportunity, Nikki. Thank and, you. Uh, thank you for having me on the show. And, thank you uh, so much. And we'll yeah, be like following said, up yeah. with you. You know, we family. So. You know, I just thank you for being our guest today. You know, we just wanted to, you know, everybody to see Petey Pablo. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Hit me up on my Instagram, Big Papa Petey. If you don't know, now you know, baby, baby. And follow at Nikki Rich Show TV. Subscribe to Nikki Rich, the number two on YouTube. And the Nikki Rich Show .com is our official website. 
Thank you, PD Pablo, for being our featured guest. Thank you All so right. much. Take care. Okay, everybody, you just heard the exclusive PD Pablo, <laughs> North Carolina. Raise up. See, we represent the Carolinas here today, y'all. North and South. I'm from South Carolina. He's from North Carolina. But we represent. So shout out to the Carolinas and everybody that's rocking with us. Thank you guys for tuning in. Shout out to JC the Don. Shout out to PD Pablo and everybody tuned in. Make sure y'all subscribe to Nikki Rich, the number two. Follow Nikki Rich Show TV, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok. We on TikTok, y'all. Nikki Rich Show TV everywhere. Make sure y'all follow us. Thank you guys for rocking with the Nikki Rich Show.